Good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm Vicki. I'm Chris. <laughs> He's well, done. That, was, there's a there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's uh, he must be tired, but uh, he got up early this morning and went fishing. I did. And he caught some big ones. Tell us about your fishing. Oh, uh, I got there a little after. I don't know, probably quarter to seven. I'm still in bed. And uh, he's slick, calm. I caught uh. One between eight and eight and a half. It could have been maybe a little bigger. I caught one six pounder. Was it, I think it was two four, no, four two pounders. And I don't know, four or five or six, a little like one pounders or less, but that was a pretty good day. None of them on the bed. I didn't, I seen some monster ones on the bed, but I got a whipping one time when I was a kid for catching them on the bed from my grandpa. So I don't tend to like to do that. I will catch them on the bed and release them, but I wanted a kid that's in our club, my nephew, one of the guys in our club to catch them. There's two, probably 12 pounders on the bed. I'm just not gonna catch them. I'd rather let a kid catch them, but it was fun though what I did catch it. You know, and they, not to say that these weren't spawning but they weren't on the bed i wasn't throwing at the bed you know but i i was in three to four five foot water so typically they don't spawn they don't go to bed in that that depth or in mississippi they don't but uh it was fun good day huh what it was a good day huh it was good i'm glad you got to go you should have seen me trying to get out of that kayak my feet was <laughs> Oh, gosh. No, I'm thinking it was fine. Oh, Kayak is a, not, is a little challenging for bed fishing anyway because you're right next to the water. What you, when you're looking at bed and bass, you want to be like in a boat up higher looking down at them just where you can see them. But you're down there right next to them in the kayak so you don't have <laughs> the height. You know? But I mean, you can still see them, but it's not near as easy. But it was fun. Good. I run into one of my old time buddies, Mac. We grew up together. Wait, is Mac the one that got you off the bottom of the of the um, no, no. lake one time? Tell Mac's that the one that I, me and him was cutting firewood one summer, and and I said, uh, I was in my little truck, and he uh, he he had his dad's brand new truck. I said, Mac, don't cut that one. It's leaning kind of towards your dad's truck, and he turned around and said. Don't worry about it, Chris. I got it. I said, Mac, it's got, I got it. About 10 minutes later, I heard boom. <laughs> across his, I'm talking about this thing just got the sticker off of it. Right across oh, the my. back of his dad's truck. I told him, I said, Mac, I love you, but you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't anyway, going down, we huh? Had, we had fun. Well, tell them about the time you went fishing in your uh, cowboy boots. Well. Don't do that ever. Don't do that. Uh, but I was the ag assistant and, and this was senior skip day. And uh, I had to haul cows for people or pick up cows. I don't remember, you know, I was in the, that, I was in the ag truck and the ag cattle trailer. And we skipped school after that. And when, of course there was, I had a few beers, so shouldn't have done that. And uh, but anyway, there's a bunch of us got in the little old flat, little flat boat. Probably ten of us, and we got out in the middle of that lake, and it's a big lake, probably a 150 acre lake. Well, that some of them started shaking it, you know. Well, what happens when you shake a boat with 10 people in it? It finally goes too far one way or the other and water started coming in and it sunk right in the middle. And you, I had on like a long sleeve shirt, blue jeans and cowboy boots on. And my buddy, Mickey Lauer stayed with me. And I told him, I said, I'm gonna go to the bottom and try to get these boots off and sit on the bottom. You cannot do that. Or I couldn't, I could there was like a suction on them. But Mickey stayed with me and helped me, you know, 
I, I swallowed some water. I like to drown. You know, I would have drowned if Vicky wouldn't have been there. Yeah. So, a little um, word of advice: don't fish with cowboy boots or any kind of boots. Really, that's not a good idea. I see people do it in the, all the time. Big old boots in the winter. You know, they're in a big boat, but still, if they fall out. Most 90% of them don't wear a life jacket, which I don't either when I'm fishing, but I do when I'm running, you know, the boat. But don't fish with boots on. There you go. That's all I'm on. That's all the advice I'm going to give y'all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Anyway, we had fun today. Y'all have a great Saturday. Uh, we'll holler at y'all later.